This is the project we're going to do today. I'm calling this one Summer Breeze. And these we're using all making a scene stamps except for these two which are from Art Impressions. This one is making a scene T2035F. These two grasses are T8187D. This tree is T8176E. The sailboat trio is T10233A. This little grass here is M1-026B. The pathway is T12281G. The little boat is M10241C. And the two art impressions, this one is from the mini flower set 5009. And this one is from the foliage set 4051. And uh, these are the different inks and markers and other supplies that were used. I'll also have this information in the description of the video. And let's begin. Okay, I have a quarter sheet of chrome coat glossy cardstock, and I'm going to be stamping all the major stamps in my Stamping Up Stamparata stamping platform. And I will start with the little path here. Okay, and I've created a mask for the rocks here along the pathway, and I've cut a little bit inside the lines so that uh, I don't get any white around the mask. Next, I am going to stamp the little boat. Okay, next I will stamp the little tree. Next, I will stamp the little trio of sailboats. Okay, and then I've created a little mask for the sailboats. And next I will stamp this kind of rocky shore that's on the other side. Okay, and I'm going to give this ink a good chance to dry. I wasn't careful enough, and there is a little bit of smearing down in this region, but hopefully we can mask that when we start to color this. Okay, I'm going to use my Memento black dual marker and I am going to finish off the shore over here where there is nothing in the stamp. Okay, and I'm going to use my small stamp, the small grass stamp, again using my Memento Tuxedo Black and I'll just put some grass over here. Okay, I'm going to color <coughs> the sky and the water with some Memento ink. I'm going to use London Fog, Summer Sky, and Bahama Blue. I'm going to start with the London Fog. And I'm using a makeup brush that I got off of Amazon as part of a set. And I'm just going to have a piece of scrap paper so I don't get any fingerprints on anything. And I'm going to start just by brushing the London Fog on. Okay, and I'm going to clean off my brush just by wiping it on a dry microfiber cloth. And I will start next with some Summer Sky. I'm also going to put a little mask here so I can start defining a horizon. All right, I've cleaned off the brush and I'm just going to kind of go back and forth to just try and blend the first two colors that I've put on. Okay, now I'll do Bahama Blue. Okay, and that last step I just cleaned off the brush and just kind of went over the entire sky to kind of blend everything in together. And now I will start working on the water.
Okay, I want to make the water just a little darker, so I'm going to use some uh, tuxedo black. Okay, I cleaned off the brush, and now I'm just going to kind of blend everything in. And I think on this side I'll use a little bit more London Fog. Okay, and I've cleaned off my brush again, and I'm just going to take it back and forth. Okay, I put it back in my stamp positioner. I'm going to re-stamp the little sailboats. Okay, and I'm going to put my little mask back on top of the sailboat. And then I'm going to add some color into the green. So I'm going to start with some new sprout. Okay, and now some bamboo leaves. And the final layer of cottage ivy. Okay, and for the ground, I'll use some toffee crunch. Okay, for this tree, I'm going to do the same greens, starting with new sprout. Then bamboo leaves and cottage ivy. Okay, now I'm going to give this ink a chance to dry really well uh, before we continue coloring this piece. Okay, and I smudged a little bit up here, so I'm taking some more summer sky and just kind of patting it over where I smudged it to help try and hide the smudges just a bit. Okay, and starting on the ground here, I'll use some desert sand and toffee crunch, and I will start with the desert sand. Okay, and I'm going to change to my small round-headed brush so that I can have a little bit better control over here. Okay, now I'll do Toffee Crunch. In fact, I'm going to change to my long skinny brush. Okay, I've cleaned my brushes off and now I'm just with my clean dry brush just kind of blend in. Okay, now back with my toffee crunch and my little round head brush. And I'll use my long skinny one for this skinny area over here. And I'll take my clean, dry brush and just kind of blend it all in. Okay, now I'll start adding some green color. I'll do the new sprout, bamboo leaves, and cottage ivy. Start with the new sprout. And I'll change to my small round-headed one. Okay, next we'll do bamboo leaves. Okay, and then some cottage ivy, and I will use my long skinny brush for this one. Okay, and I want to work on the road a little more, so I'm going to start with the desert sand. Okay, and then toffee crunch using my long skinny brush. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to use some alcohol markers to add a little more color. I want to add some blue color to the boat, so I'm going to be, use some BG72 and BG75, and I'm going to start with the darkest color. And just put this in the very darkest regions of the boat. And then kind of blend it out with BG72. Okay, for the rocks, I'm going to use some E70 and E74. And I will start with the E70. Now I'll go E74. And I'll take a dry paper towel and just kind of buff this out. And to blend this area, I'm going to take my colorless blender and just kind of blend this in. And I'm going to take my E74 and just add some dots in the roadway here. And I'll take my colorless blender to kind of blend it all in a little better. Okay, for the grass and the trees, I'm going to use G43 and G46. And I'll start with the G43. Okay, and now I'll do G46. Okay, I'm back to G43. And I want to get a little more blue on the boat, so uh, more of the BG72. And a little bit of the BG75 also for the very darkest regions. Okay, I want to add some wildflowers to the region down here. So I'm going to use lilac posies. And I'm going to use Art Impression Stamps, the little flower bundle. And I am just going to ink up the flower portion, not the stems. Okay, and then to ground these flowers where they need to be grounded, I'm going to use Cottage Ivy and the little flower set from Art Impressions. Okay, now I'll use a little bit of Mento Tuxedo Black. Okay, now I'm going to use some white pigment ink to add some highlights. I'm going to use some Hero Arts Unicorn White. And I'm going to use a Fantastics applicator that I've kind of cut so that it's wedge shaped. And I will just put some highlights over here. Okay, I'll use the two grassy stamps uh, and some cottage ivy. Okay, and now I'll also use some memento tuxedo black. Okay, and I want uh, the outside edge of the water to be just a little bit darker, so I'll use a little more of the Memento Tuxedo Black and my small brush and very carefully brush this on. And that was a little darker than I wanted it, so I'll use some London Fog. And some Bahama Blue.
Okay, and all my machinations, I kind of lost my uh, pigment ink. So I'm going to add a little more of my pigment ink. Okay, and I'm going to sign and date it. Okay, now I'm going to give the pigment ink a chance to dry. And uh, then I may apply another layer of pigment ink. Uh, we'll see. And then I will spray it with a protective coating. And we'll be back. Okay, I wanted to make these rocks here just a little darker, so I wiped off the pigment ink that I put there and I'm going to put some E79 in the darkest area of these and then I'm going to blend it upwards with E74 and E70 Okay, and then I'll add a little bit of the white pigment ink with what's left on my Fantastics applicator. And now I'll take it out and spray it with the clear acrylic coating. And here is the final product after it's been sprayed with the clear acrylic coating. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!